everybody, Cammie again, still sitting out here in the sunroom and it's really hot, about to go in and drink some sweet tea, but um, I have a video that I want to share with you. I've had several requests uh, from people uh, interested in how I make the little dishcloths that I use and that you've seen in some of my videos, so I am by no means a crochet expert, but I just do want to show those who are interested, interested, it's so hot I can't speak, interested how I do make those. It's not hard. If you have any crochet experience, you will probably think, well, this is nothing. They're not uh, pretty per se. They're more of a utilitarian project, um, but they work for me. I've actually come to... Uh, to enjoy using those instead of uh, the kind that you would buy at Walmart or wherever you can't buy crochet. But you know what I mean. I love those to wash dishes. They just, they seem to do a, a better job for me. I like to use them when I'm making something to kind of wipe my hands. I just, I've, I've really enjoyed them and they wash really, really well. I have not had, not one, um, unravel or start to mess up and I have had to uh, I've had to change yarn in the middle of several of them but um, I wanted to make that video since it has been requested and I do apologize it's been it's been a while coming and I just have not gotten around to it but I'm going to get that done so thank you so much and now here let's go ahead and we'll start the video Okay, so here is a bigger version that I use for um, for a, a canning pad to put my canned items that I've canned, or also I use it for um, to dry my pots and pans on. Also, and here are the little dishcloths uh, variety. I have a whole bunch more, but. Some were um, dirty, some were in the process of being uh, laundered, and, you know, I didn't need to bring out all that I have. So, anyway, to get started, you're going to need, I think that's a size H crochet needle. You can use a little bit smaller. You're going to need scissors, your uh, cotton yarn, and you can get that anywhere. And what am I doing here? Oh, then you need a um, little um, crochet needle or a darning needle will work. Anything that has a big eye and that will go through the yarn. And let's see, this has been a while, so let me see. Okay, I'm starting with a slip knot, which is what you will always start with unless you're doing a magic circle, which that's a whole other thing. But to do... Um, chain stitches you're going to start with your slip knot and here I think I do about 30 you can look at the size of uh, cloth washcloth that you or dishcloth that you want and you can um, you know kind of go from there I've done various sizes I think uh, 30 stitches is the or 30 a chain stitch of 30 is the um, smallest that I've made and then some have been bigger depending on you know just what size I wanted to make and if you're not familiar with this there's so many good um, uh, crochet tutorials to get you started I just have taught myself what I do know from watching um, YouTube videos the crochet crowd is a really really good one it's a, a really good one to watch. And I'm sorry I'm kind of out of frame here. I was actually watching this in July. I was watching a um, one of the Hallmark Christmas movies in July. I'm not sure which one it was. But anyway, basically, all this is is single crochet. And if you're not familiar with crochet at all, the single crochet is the absolute first thing that first stitch that you're going to learn after you learn to do your little slip knot to get you started and to um, 
and to do the chain stitch. The single crochet is the, is the next thing you're going to learn, which is why this is a very good project to get you started. It's, you know, if, if it's not perfect, well, who cares? You're going to wash dishes with it. You know, you can still use it. And uh, you can feel good about yourself because you started. I learned to crochet while I was taking um, the infusions for the chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which I'm in remission for. But I used that time while I was doing um, the infusions for that, the treatment, to teach myself a skill. And you know what? If you're, if you're sitting, you know, with a broken leg, you can still, you can still crochet. This would be, it's, it's, it's a great skill to learn and it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to always be a beautiful project sometimes the utilitarian the useful projects are the things that you'll have the most memories of I can remember um, most of my dishcloths that I've made I can remember what I'm doing you know and the good thing about these two is that you can um, you can also uh, you can also crochet them to fit your decor. And once you're comfortable with the small ones, like I said, the one that I'm kind of using so that you don't see my big legs <laughs> is um, it's just a um, one that I made the same way. It's just bigger and I use it in my canning. I use it for my um the the canning jars that I that I have drying to so that I can use them. I use it for that and I also use it uh after I've canned. It's perfect. It's the perfect um uh, size and the perfect um uh, I don't know if depth's the right word, but it's just perfect for you to put your canned, um, the things that you've just canned, for them to um, to see it while you're waiting for that beautiful, beautiful ping. You could also use this, um, you know, just to set on a table, whatever. It's just a very, very easy project to get started, and it has uses. And before you know it, you will be crocheting blankets and, you know, afghans, pillows, uh, even doggy clothes or your clothes, just all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of mood music while you kind of watch me do a little bit of this. I'll try to speed it up, too. So that's what your uh, rows will look like and I skipped to the end because you just basically do the same thing over and over and on this particular one I made a little um, a little uh, loop at the end uh, so you could hang it but normally that's not something that I do um, I usually just just uh, end it because I'm basically using it for um, 
you know, for washing my dishes. I don't really hang those. But if you did want to hang it on a knob or something, you could do like that. And anyway, I used the darning needle and, um, uh, or the crochet needle, and I uh, went ahead and finished that. And now, here's a little extra something something with Rosebud. Rosebud was not happy that I was filming this, as you can see. She wanted attention. She did not like it because I had the uh, Hallmark movie on, and she did not like it because I was uh, I was filming. And there she is, looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. So I hope you enjoyed that not a tutorial video that I just made. There's so many great channels that have um, that have step by step instructions to help you learn how to crochet. It's, it's like I said, that's how I did it, and I'm still learning. Uh, there's so many different uh, stitches that I do not know, but it is it is a really great skill to learn and to study because there are so many projects that you can make using the um, the art of crochet. So if you have any questions, just give me a comment down at the bottom. If there's any videos that you are interested in seeing that you would like for me to um, or like, would like for me to work on, just please comment on the bot at the bottom with those two. I'm stumbling because it's so hot out here, but I do like to sit out a little bit. It's you know you can't stay inside all the time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you would, give, please give me a like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell at the bottom, and thank you so much for giving me your time and for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next video. Y'all, go drink some water. It's too hot. You, you got to stay hydrated. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, hey, here's another use for the... Um dish cloth. Um, you can use it to uh, put under your bowl if you have something hot or your plate even. I've even used it for the plate and it will keep your hands from being burnt. Just another suggestion. Bye.